Hello, in this demonstration I will show you how to record something using the dictaphone and then submit it to Moodle. For this you will need obviously your, your dictaphone, your USB cable and also the appropriate block on courses. With that in mind, all you need to do is go onto your, your appropriate Moodle page and then I now turn on the dictaphone. 1, 2, 3, testing, 1, 2, 3, testing, 1, 2, 3, testing. And then plug the USB cable into the dictaphone with the small end. And then plug the large end into your computer. You'll see it will flash up and it will have a picture of it showing that it's connected to the computer. And then click on portfolio, 3,000 3, words, but it might say something else. I should also point out that I am logged on as a student. Once I've done that, I click add submission. And then click add file. Up, and then upload a file. Browse. And then we move on to the appropriate stick, which will be called if you're using one of the university's recorders, VN712PC. Click the recorder, hold row, you'll find the recording in there. Double click it, and then click upload this file. You'll need to tick this option, which says. This assignment is my own work. And then click save. Okay, now I will have the option of editing submissions. I can click here to listen to the submission. Um, and I will have that option until the time remaining to do the assignment, which in this case is 58 days and 22 hours, runs out. If I decide I want to edit my submission, I click there, and then I click add, and I'm able to keep adding files for as long as I need. So let's see if I can find a picture or some pictures, let's say that, load this file, and you see that multiple files can then be saved and stored. Similarly, I can create a folder which says the same, and I can have up to 10 um, items. Okay, sometimes in the instructions you'll, you'll get in, uh, information on what to call it, so it'll be something like your student number in the module code. If that's the case, um, when you upload something, so I'll click out again, and I'll find another picture, click open, there's an option here that says save that, as, so if I call it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then CO, uh, CO 407, and upload this file. You'll notice it will change its name to the appropriate code. And that is how you upload a file from the to Moodle from your dictaphone.